Hi everyone, I'm G1 Light with G1 Insights and this message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Leo. This is your life and love energy for the month of December 2020. So Leo, listen, there's a lot happening in the month of December. We're talking about eclipse happening. We're talking about, you know, um, transformations happening. Now I know for... Um, the month of November in October, we experienced a lot of that, right? A lot of transitions were happening. A lot of shifts were happening. So many crazy things were happening, guys. And so it's so important that we take this opportunity to um, embrace what is happening, okay? Um, with that being said, um, we have a lot to look forward to when it comes to your career, your love life, and I'm gonna do some wisdom cards, I have some tarot cards, and I have some love cards here, okay? So, we're gonna get into it. So this is for the Leo man and the Leo woman. This is for Leo sun, rising, or Venus on Leo. Thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have chaos and conflicts coming out here. So it seemed like as if you guys may have been experiencing some type of turmoil here, um, some type of disruption or some type of chaos. There could have been like a tower moment here where um, there was some type of um, revelation or something that have happened to kind of make you go into your own shell, kind of to kind of make you retreat or not necessarily want to be bothered, okay? Um, so it says here to kind of take the time this season to, you know, forgive, you know, and to, and it's interesting because I believe that a lot of your energy has been this way um, for a while now, you know, feeling like, oh, I don't really need nobody, you know, I'm tired of people, I'm tired of depending on people, I'm tired of, you know, um, people lying to me, tired of people using me, those type of things, right? So yeah, the energy has been a bit crazy for you, Leo, and I feel like now you're trying your best to say, okay, you know, what can I do to help my situation out? You know, what can I do to make myself feel better? Um, and that's going to come with you just simply separating yourself from what no longer serve you, separating yourself from people that kind of just naturally make you feel down or left out or uncertain people that make you feel insecure people that make you feel unloved okay now going into the month of december um we have mercury you know the planets of communication and um also the the planet that represents like technology um many different things you know going into your sister's sign um, Sagittarius okay so again expect like a lot of things to be revealed to you early on things coming to the surface people kind of just um, lashing out saying whatever they want um, possibly even coming at you any kind of way and you're gonna probably have to um, really really separate yourself from these type of people especially if you know that you already been going through like some type of transition and it's like Every time you turn around, they're negative or they have something negative to say. Like they're not, they haven't been like the most um, um, uplifting or positive person, right? Maybe they haven't been the most loving, most giving person. Sorry, guys, give me one second. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Oops. All right. There we go. Sorry, my device have went from like light to dark and. I'm not sure if it, you guys can tell that or not, but for me, it was like, a, you know, a bit of a annoying because I knew what was going on. All right. So, yeah, it seemed like as if you're really trying to decide if you want to continue to deal with this person because I see never in this story. So I don't know if this person has like a habit, like every time you turn around, they have something negative to say. Every time you turn around, they're being um, objective or passive passive aggression energy you know um the narcissist you know the person who never really has any good thing to say or they're never really that supportive or uplifting and i feel like you're at the place in your life right now where all you want is just to be happy you just want to be satisfied and for the past few months all they've been doing is just showing you just how much they either envy you or um it's like they just they just really haven't been like on your side you know like so because it says here never in the story look at this 
okay never in this story guys it's like oh my god here we go again with the freaking drama every time i turn around it's something with you every time i turn around you have something negative to say every time i turn around you're bringing drama into my life you know so watch out for that type of energy you know and again this could be for a lot of you this could be a spouse for some of you um this could just be so-called friends in your life okay i also see here in your present moment though that there's a need um to kind of just kind of step out on faith you know so even if you're not sure you know you want to just kind of take that that leap of faith and just do it now december um 13th to about the 15th we have a lot of energy there too because then at that point venus will also go into sagittarius we also have a um new moon solar eclipse happening that week and so once again we're making some some changes some huge changes in the way we approach people in the way we approach situations in the way that we approach a um a situation that could be making you feel uncomfortable or maybe something that makes you unhappy um, is really going to be about being honest this month. It's all about being honest with ourselves, being honest about what we want, what we deserve, you know, and that can be like, again, this doesn't have to be romantic, guys. This can be within your career. This can be your friendships, um, anything in that nature. OK, so don't take anything too lightly. If you notice that somebody has been a bit off the hinge lately, um, haven't really, you know, been giving you their best self. You know, I know it sucks. You know, we, we like to hold on to things that we love. But you know what? Even with people that we love, we still sometimes have to separate ourselves, okay? So we're here where it says come to the edge. It's saying take that risk, okay? It's time to step out on faith. It's time to take that leap. It's time to go above and beyond. It's time to do something that you never would have thought you would have done. Um, sorry, guys. My hair is on my back and it's tickling me it's making me feel like something is on me <laughs> i've been doing that in everybody's video like what the fuck <laughs> something is on me okay so let's look at some tarot cards let's get clarity for this okay because like i said um there's definitely gonna be some type of um things that you need to address i don't know if this person is bringing drama or they had or there will be drama because of a, a particular situation um but something is coming up to the surface it's something that you need to address something that you need to um i just heard face to face like you need to have a face to face or a heart to heart conversation with this individual okay or um with someone about a situation that's been troubling you all right so here we go we have some tarot cards here. So let's get clarity. Why is chaos and conflicts here? And then number three is here four times, guys. Look at this. So, yeah, there's definitely going to be um, some huge <laughs> changes happening. Some of you could be celebrating the fact that you no longer deal with this person. Some of you could be um, not really comfortable with the way that things have been between you and somebody else. Okay, so why is chaos and... Wow. Okay. All right, so, and they're going to number three again. Okay, all right, so when that happens, I put it back in the deck just so we can get the correct card. All right, there we go. Okay, so, yep, there definitely has been moments where uh, maybe even this person may have invited you somewhere or maybe you didn't really feel like uh, being around this person. Maybe you don't really feel um, content or satisfied with this person um, or even with the situation. You know, I feel like you have it. Um, I feel like you have that companionship or you have like that, um, that love for something. But there's definitely like this... Um, this need to just not really want to be bothered. You know, you're like, no, no, thank you. I'm good. You know, you've kind of been like brushing people off lately, you know. And that energy's been with you for a while, Leo. And it's like now you're moving from this energy and being, again, you're stepping out of faith. Sorry, guys, my son is in the background making a whole lot of noise. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's like you guys are stepping stepping out more you know doing things more taking a risk you know saying you know what? i'm tired of sitting in the house i'm tired of being sad let me do something i haven't done before let me spend time with the family let me spend more time with my children so okay so yeah you're going from this energy from feeling um dissatisfied to really trying to get to the root of the problem okay why haven't you been going out lately okay 
All right, so give me confirmation for being a risk taker or coming to the edge. What is going on? Why is come to the edge here? All right. Yep, the hangman energy, guys. The hangman energy. So, yep, there's definitely um, a need to want to experience more, to do more, to get out more. Um, you know, you definitely want to get away from uh, what no longer serve you. But I said, it's like, watch out for... Um, ego trips, you know, people that think they know it all. You know, if that's you, Leo, you know, I feel like there's so much more that you need to know. There's so much more to experience. So watch out for ego trips as well, because I think that that's part of what the problem is. It's like, there's like this, um, thing between you and this person where either you or this person or even maybe both of you have this mentality of, I know what I'm doing, you know, don't tell me what to do, you know, um, I feel like this person also gets upset a lot because you don't do exactly um, what they want you to do when they want you to do it. Um, this can also be an energy where it's like um, they, it's like they take you for a fool, you know. And again, you're breaking free from that energy. Like you're really taking the initiative this season to break free from toxic energy or toxic waste or like a toxic environment, okay? Now, we're never in this story here. We definitely need clarity on that. I mean, I kind of get, I feel like it's common sense. Like, it's very um, straight to the point. <laughs> what it's saying, like, there's like a merry-go-round. It just goes round and around and around. So, watch out for vicious cycles, okay? Repeating the same cycles um, with the same person or just the same energy, but just with different people. You know, like, you could be feeling like, how come I keep going through the same thing? And it's because you keep dating different people but they have the same energy you know it's like how can you break free from that let's see why never ending stories here okay that was a sun card but it flipped over in the middle of the deck so i want to get clarity on that let's see leo summer horizon or venus on leo okay so the knight of pentacles so yep this could be an earth sign like a virgo um, a, yeah, this is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, okay? Um, I feel like it's mainly a Virgo, though, um, okay, because Capricorn and Taurus energy is a bit more serious, so I feel like this is either a Virgo right here, um, this is a person that always felt like they had to use their money, uh, to kind of grab your attention or um, always felt like they had to show off or um, do something to kind of um, hold on to you, you know, um, or, or maybe they felt like, um, hmm, I don't know, I just heard jealousy, I just feel like there's a lot of envy here, there's a lot of envious energy here, and I don't know if this is you guys doing it to this person or this person doing it to you. But this is either a water sign doing this or this is a earth sign doing it. So this can definitely be um, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this can definitely be a um, Virgo or Taurus, okay? Well, if this is a Capricorn, then, you know, I can understand. Like I said, I feel this, this strong energy about, well, I'm right, you know, I know what I'm talking about, you know, I have all the answers, I know what I'm doing. So yeah, this definitely could be a Cancer Scorpio or a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo person, okay? A lot of tense, strong energy is here. I'm eager to look at, you know, especially if this is a person at work, um, watch out for this person um, because I feel like they're very emotional. Um, like they're not really that... Um, not emotional. There's, I feel like they come off like, like again, I just feel like the narcissist. Like they come off like they play the victim a lot is what I'm getting. Um, so they, they come off like they, they know it all. They got it down packed. They know what they're talking about. But then it's like when it's time to go head for head, they play the victim card. Oh, why are you hurting me? Why are you keep disrespecting me? I don't understand why you're mistreating me. Like they do that type of, <laughs> they do that a lot. Like they cry about shit a lot, you know? So yeah, watch out for that energy too. This is interesting. Your reading reminds me a lot of Pisces, Pisces energy. So yeah, for a lot of you, this could be um, a water sign or an earth sign, guys. So watch out for that. Watch out for ego trips. 
All right, so we have the love cards here. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on in love, here, Leo. All right. Here we go. Like I said, a relationship is evolving, okay? Or some of you could be deciding to separate. So for each and every one, last one of you, oh my God, I really wish this piece of hair would get off my back. It's irritating. Okay. Um, so yeah, for a lot of you, you could be working on a new relationship or trying to rekindle a relationship with a person that maybe you did have all this energy with. Maybe you guys did have some type of disruption or problem in the past, or maybe there was a lot of disrespect, a lot of envy, any envious energy, or maybe there were a lot of jealousy at hand. Um, there could have been a, um, even controlling energy at hand. Again, passive aggression. Okay. But, um, I feel like the relationship can move on because I do see um, possibly even a new relationship for those of you that are single, but I also see transformation. So again, um, for those of you that haven't um, been, oh, I think I got it. I think I got the hair, guys. I think I got it. Okay. So <laughs> for those of you that have been like um, moving or not moving, thinking about working out this relationship or fixing this relationship, this relationship is moving to a new level of understanding. Um, no more being immature, no more talking about each other back, no more putting each other down, no more crying over spilled milk. Like you guys are not doing that no more. You're really deciding to move past what what happened or what was, you know? Um, and that's good, it shows a lot of growth that you both are ready. But for some of you that are newly in love, this could be a new relationship. Um, Okay, or like I said, separating yourself so that way you can be ready. Maybe you're in prepping season. Maybe you're getting ready for a new relationship, okay? But I do see here moving past different obstacles, okay? You are moving past obstacles. Like I said, you're moving away um, from this energy. You're stepping out on faith. You're no longer playing the fool. You're no more um, sitting there trying to figure it out all on your own. You're really deciding, hey, you know what? I know what's going on. I know I need to fix this energy. I'm not the fool. I don't always have all the answers. Um, I'm not going to sit here and be cocky about it. Um, so, yeah, some of you are preparing for a new relationship. But for some of you, this could be rekindling a relationship, okay? Okay. It was all about transformation. Like I said, the month of October, November, and December is going to be powerful, guys. I've been saying that. Now, on top of the Knight of Pentacles, let's look at that energy. Okay, we have karmic relationship. Again, <laughs> a lot of turmoil you has been in this relationship. This is a karmic relationship for some of you. Some of you have really had, like, so, like you and this person been through so, so much together. And... It's like, it's so hard to just say, you know what, well, fuck it, you know, we're not going to do this. I'm not going to go there with you. I don't want to be with you no more. It's so hard for a lot of you to do that. Um, and it, it's feel like it's because a lot of you probably even have children with this person, you know. Um, so it's been really, really tough trying to separate yourself from this situation. Um, but this is a karmic relationship. You know, it says here to let go of resentment. You know, learn from your past mistakes. Okay, maybe that's why Earth Energy is here because it's teaching you to be a bit more grounded. It says here to let go and start to love you. Okay, learn from your mistakes. Stop allowing every little trigger or every little thing get to you or to disrupt your union. Okay, again, some of you are working on that relationship or trying to heal through your heartbreaks or things that you and this person have been through. But for some of you, a new relationship is um, evolving in a beautiful way. Okay, and this also is a soulmate or a karmic relationship for a lot of you. So there's definitely a lot of lessons to be learned and love for you. Now, for your career, of course... Um, it doesn't really say a lot about your career, but, you know, you guys can take it, you know, to whoever you want to apply these cards to in your life. You can, because this is a general reading. So, I will try my best to come back mid-December and try to um, do something for all of us here. Um, especially when it comes to love for a lot of us who need more clarity on that. And then for some of us, we can focus more on the career aspect, okay? So, Leah, listen, I love you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please visit my website, g1insights.org, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading from me. Every Tuesday, we are live at G1 Insights on Instagram, guys. The links will be below. Now, listen, guys, it's super important that you guys follow me this season because I'm going to be giving away all kind of goodies and... 
Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> like I was saying, every Tuesday we are live on Instagram. It's so important for you guys to follow me and to show up on my website. Become a member of my website, you know, or create an account on my website. If you become a member of my Patreon page, you guys will be one of the first to know exactly when I go live, when I upload a video, especially when it comes to our beautiful holiday candles, guys. It means so much to me. You know, shout out to all of you that have already purchased our holiday candles. This 16 ounce candles um you know as i was trying to say is about three or four cents in one some of them only have two or three cents you know but um if you have any special requests or you would like to do like a gift box for whatever reason that is also an option on my website that you guys will be able to see so i really hope that this information was helpful and i would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers thank you for all your love and support you guys be good to yourself and i will see you guys really really soon sooner than you think <laughs> thank you for watching Bye.